Monarch butterflies are major pollinators, an essential service that allows our ecosystems to survive. But the beautiful insects are endangered. Researchers say the number of monarchs have dropped more than 95% since the 1980s. NBC 15's Karis Harmon joins us now. Karis, monarchs face the threat of extinction due to things like habitat destruction and climate change. Yeah, that's right, Corey. And what many find to be a service that gets rid of pesky mosquitoes is actually hurting major pollinators like monarchs and bees. The mosquito is a pest, an insect that really doesn't do anything to contribute to the environment. The monarch butterfly, on the other hand, does. They both kind of have to coexist within the environment. Uh, one carries disease and the other doesn't. Jerry Foles is with Vector Control Services, a part of the Mobile County Health Department. We're out to protect public health by spraying to kill the mosquitoes that carry mosquito-borne viruses. Viruses like the Zika virus, West Nile virus, malaria, and more. While the sprays eliminate the mosquitoes, there's a school of thought that they do the same for the monarchs. There are some people that claim that our spray kills butterflies. Uh, I haven't seen any documentation like that. But I guess if the sprays were in high enough concentrations, it might be lethal to the butterfly. While public health comes first, Vector does offer some ways to opt out of this service. One woman wrote on Nextdoor that she raises monarch butterflies and was able to get on the no spray list. We do maintain a list of what we call the BNA list, which is the people that either are beekeepers or have allergies to our spray. And uh, they might request to our office to avoid spraying in the area. He tells me the county is broken in down to 50 different spray routes along with an aircraft to spray areas that trucks can't reach. You can go to mchd.org backslash vector hyphen control for more information. Corey.